What's up guys, Mr. Allen here. We're gonna write the equation of the circle in standard form. Look at that terrible mess we have right there. Ugh, right, I gotta get that in standard form if I wanna get my center or my radius. All right, so we're gonna do that, but first, what's standard form again? That's what standard form is. X minus H quantity squared plus Y minus K quantity squared equals R squared. So I need to algebraically manipulate this mess into looking like what we have there in the blue with numbers for H, K, and R. All right. So how are we gonna do that? Completing the square. So I need to group my x's together, my y's together, and get that constant out of the way. So the way I'm gonna do that is I will have x squared minus 10x plus something to complete the square, plus y squared plus 4y plus something to complete the square equals, I gotta add seven to both sides, this becomes seven, and then I'm gonna have plus some number plus some number that I'm adding to that left side, I gotta add it to the right side as well. Okay, so let's do that. How are we gonna figure these things out? Quick refresher on completing the square. I'm gonna take that B value that we have right there, negative 10, I'm gonna divide it by two, I'm gonna square it, simplify on the inside, I'll get negative five, square it, I'm gonna add 25 right here, and I'm gonna add 25 to the other side to make sure that this equation is balanced. All right, now how am I gonna get the other one? Same idea, I'm gonna take that B value, that four, I'm gonna divide it by two, square it, so that's gonna be two squared, which is four. So I'm gonna add four to both sides. Gotta balance that equation. Now, we can do some factoring, combining like terms on the right, let's do that. So my X part will factor down into X minus five, quantity squared because negative five times negative five gives me 25, negative five plus negative five gives me negative 10. So instead of x minus five, x minus five, I'll have x minus five squared, which is gonna look like that standard form that I want, right? Also, spoiler alert, it's always gonna be that number right there that's getting squared. So if you go through those three steps, all right, that middle step there is like a little cheat for your factoring later on, if you wanna use that. For the next one, I'm gonna have y plus two quantity squared, and then over on the right-hand side, we have seven plus 25 plus four, that's gonna add up to 36. Okay, so from this, which is my standard form, what it asked for, oops, I kinda covered up that two there. That's a little better. There's my standard form, but I also want my center and my radius. And the reason why I wanted to ask that is because on a test or a quiz, we could just give you this terrible, terrible, terrible looking form right here and say, what's the center of the circle? or what's the radius of this circle, or what's the area or circumference of that circle. And you would need to know to put it into that standard form to get any of that information out of it, okay? So I can just say, what's the area of the circle, given that ugly equation? You gotta go through completing the square to get it into that standard form to answer that question, okay? So we're gonna answer those two questions now, but know that that can come up on a test. We can ask specific things. You need to know to do the whole long process for it. Well, my center here, my center is gonna be five, comma, negative two, and my radius was just the square root of 36, which is six. So there we go, we've got our center, we've got our radius, it's a whole lot of work going on there, got a little messy, but hey, we handled it like champs, you guys are champs. All right, America Freedom, Rock and Roll, Costco, Riverdog Jenny on the gram, I'll see you guys later, deuces.